Okay, this is part three of chamfering the port windows uh, from CC Specialty Tools. Um, now, I realize this is two steps more than most people do and possibly three steps more than some. But uh, I think these are all important because chamfering is, a, is an important part of the process. You don't want snaggering. You don't want to mess up the whole all the work that you just did. This time, I've got a little buff here loaded up with some abrasive compound. This is just a simple felt buff. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to smooth along similar, the same patterns we did before. Keep moving. Keep working. Working your angles here. Getting all nice and smoothed out. I tell you what, if you can get you a, a, a little, one of these little vices, one of these rotational cylinder vices, you can vary your angles a lot better. It makes things very easy as far as getting the other angles. You can flip this engine around to whatever angle you need to work at and get right to it. Makes a whole lot better, I tell you. Uh, you, you, you really can't go wrong with this. Now we're just smoothing out. Those little champ, those little port windows, you know, nice and smooth, working the entire process here. I'm telling you, spend a little time on that, um, get it done right, don't rush through it. The old finger instrument, you just, oh man, that's smooth as can be, smooth as can be. Now, let me put a little light on that, Blake, and you can see nicely right through there, those windows are nice and smooth. Piston rings aren't going to snag on that, it's going to work perfect. All right.